this basically allows you to create that cool depth of field look where the background's blurry and the foreground is crisp and clear and in focus. All right, so let's make one of those. Merv streams add depth, okay? And then we add our own custom name of the stream, which is, uh, let's call it DOF. Now, we wanna preview this, right? We wanna see what this stream looks like. Well, there's a command called Merv streams preview okay and then what you do is you type in the name of the stream that you want to preview and the depth of field stream that we want to preview is called dof so we type in dof and there you go now we're previewing the stream basically what you want to remember is white is blurry black is clear so the more white there is on this view the more blurriness there's going to be in your post-production program the more black there is the more fo in focus that area is going to be okay now there's actually a way to edit this look i can bring the focal range closer to the camera or further away from the camera with two easy commands we want to type in merge stream edit DOF, and let's define these two things. Okay, depth val max is basically the max distance that your focal range is gonna reach. And depth val is the actual range that your focus will be in. To give a better idea, if the value of depth val is really close to the value of depth val max, you're gonna have a very hard cutoff between what's in focus and what's blurry. The further the distance depth val is from depth val max, the more gradient you're gonna get in the focal range, okay? So let me show you. So let's type in depth val max. And let's make it like 200. And you're gonna see this white color get really close to the camera. It's pretty much taken up the entire area. Now let's change depth val to be a little closer to 200 because then we're gonna get a little more focal range. So let's make it 190. And as you can see, there's a very hard cutoff between what's gonna be blurry and what's gonna be in focus. Now let's start walking this value back from 200. So let's bring it to 150. All right, do you see how there's a gradient starting to form? Let's do 100. It's getting a little smoother, okay? Now let's make depth val max 400 all right cool so it pushed it back even further and look we're, st we're getting even more gradient from what's in focus to what's not are you starting to see how this works okay so the important thing with the depth of field stream is you also need to record a base effect stream so let's add a base effect stream merv streams add base effects and we'll call this i don't know b Cool, we have a base effect stream and we also have a depth of field stream. Let's record both of them now. Okay, now that we recorded it, let's set it up in our editing software. First, I'll show you how to do it in Vegas and then I'll show you how to do it in After Effects, okay? Two different ways, but they both achieve similar results. But before we do that, I just wanna take a quick second and thank my executive producers, Kurza and Speedzor. I really appreciate their support on my Patreon. If you appreciate what I'm doing and like the tutorials I'm putting out, there's a link down below in the description where you can sign up for great benefits on my Patreon. Okay, let's get back to it. Let's add three video tracks okay let's drop our depth of field stream in and let's drop our base effect stream in what i want you to do is i want you to copy and paste this base effect stream and put it on the very bottom track all right what you want to do is go to the middle track here click on this little hamburger these three hash marks here and click on make compositing child now you're going to have this set up with these top two tracks okay now what you want to do is come up to this top track click on this hamburger go to compositing mode and set it to multiply mask all right now what you want to do is on the top track on the depth of field stream come over here to fx just come down here to mask generator double click click OK. Okay, it should already be set up. The type should be luminance. All of these sliders should be at their default positions. Come down here to the middle track, click on FX, and let's go to defocus, okay? Double click that. And look, as soon as we click on defocus, you're starting to see the background blur. Let's change some of these settings though, all right? This is a bit too much, all right? Let's change the iris shape to, uh, I like octagon, because I don't want it to be a perfect circle. I kind of want to see the sides. Let's turn the radius down. It's a bit too much. Let's change it to 0.75. That's starting to look a little better. I'm actually starting to like the look of that. I think the bloom in Vegas doesn't really do the footage justice. I think it, it looks really bad. It starts to blow out the lighter parts of it. I turn the bloom all the way off. It's especially since there's no direct light, no sun, no lamppost or anything. So, all right, there we go. We just set up the depth of field in Vegas. Let's move to After Effects and I'll show you how to do it in there. We are in After Effects. All right, let's drag over the first video, which is our base effects layer. And then let's drag over the depth of field. So you wanna put the DOF layer on top of the base layer, okay? And then what you wanna do is you wanna shut the DOF layer off. Now let's right click, let's go to new and let's add an adjustment layer. And then what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to the effects effects and presets and then what you want to do is you want to type in lens blur okay we want to do is drag that over on top of the adjustment layer first things first come down to blur map layer click on none and select dof and then all of these things should be the same now what you want to do is you want to come up here and let's change hexagon to octagon i think that'll look good and then what you can do is play around with the blur 
Ah, huge difference now. You're really getting some blur. Let's scale it back to like 10. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Scale it back maybe. Yeah, five looks okay. I like five. Just a simple adjustment layer with some depth of field and bass streams and you've got yourself a nice cool shot of a guy running at the camera and the background is blurred and it looks really professional. I hope that helped folks. Can't wait to see what you guys make with this and I'll see you in the next tutorial.